Okay, I'm back. So, it's uh, but I but if I wanted to, I would install it. But why would I want to waste one installation to phone home back to Microsoft and deactivate my license <laughs> in Office 2007? Just so you, you know, take my word for it. The compatibility pack can be installed on Office 2000, so you could be able to read the new format that's being used for Office 2007 and forward as the default type of file that's created by uh, Word and Excel that will become more prominent, start showing up in our office. Um, I, I don't, honestly, I think maybe just in 2009 once and maybe about four times in 2010 so far. Um, you could always ask them to save it in the old format and be able to open it, but it's a little more of a hassle. Um, so dealing with Linux, dealing with <laughs> this actually helps Microsoft a little bit more if you're trying to get away from them. Uh, you won't be able to just use Office 2000 to access those docx and uh, xlx sx files uh, that people send you or I'm not sure if you can save them as that in Office 2000, but you know everybody can read the files you create, which is the name of the game. It doesn't have to be, oh, it's not a docx, you're a bad person. Well, it depends on your opinion, really, but to my opinion, no. I got some older apps here, basically, because they, they, they still work. We, we've really phased out Lotus 12397, but if you happen to be a firm that uses it or likes it, there it is. Now, just because Lotus 12397 uh, works, and I've worked with it for quite a while. I, I don't even think it's even mentioned here as to one of the um, apps you can install, but I, I do know it works. It's, at least for everything I've done, I haven't used it full feature, but for everything that I've done, I haven't had a problem using it at all, ever. You know, I just threw freelance graphics up there. I don't recall whether I started QuickBooks 04 here for you. This is the latest one they have any support for, but I do feel that this is a very good sign because uh, between QuickBooks 2000 and 2001, there was some kind of change to the way QuickBooks worked, and I think that that was the biggest change between the way the back end of QuickBooks worked, and so um, it being able to work, you know, like Quick. Books 2007 maybe just around the corner for them to say they support in some fashion uh, now that we see uh, QuickBooks 04 working. Okay, now, now there's some more technical things. Now to set up an installation, it's basically, uh, you're not going to be able to, you're probably not going to be able to buy a uh, an Int Intel uh, Core 7 a computer with Windows pre-installed and Ubuntu on the other disk, or, or, or just, I wouldn't do just Ubuntu, or any, I wouldn't just do Linux in any case, unless you know that everything here that you, you see fits your requirements and you're, you have blind faith, I, I wouldn't have blind faith that forever and ever you're going to be able to last on these apps, you're not going to have to update, or that um, maybe something about Wine may change, that may cause something that used to work to be a little more problematic later, that's, that's, that's highly more doubtful, but it's, it's possible. Um, here's some other apps that they, they do support, and I think the, the universe of apps that could at least install and run are here. Now, I would be amiss to not tell you how I got Lacert 07 to run. This is probably, um, probably the first time. You, you, you're seeing one of the, f <laughs> the few times Lacerda 7 has ever been run in a Linux environment. This is my guess. What happened is that I tried to install it, and uh, the deal is is that it, um, it wouldn't install. And during the install procedure, I took some notes, but it's not really going to be all that important because um, <laughs> my notes aren't going to be that important because what happened at the end was that I wasn't able to do it entirely from Linux. I, I had to cheat. I had to copy over the directory structure from within um, where Linux, uh, sorry, Lacert likes to rest to get it to run, bring it over here, <clears throat> and then even cheat within Code Weavers. It doesn't, Code Weavers doesn't really know exactly that it's installed, but it happens to work 
which is okay. The cert doesn't really need file associations. It more or less needs to know where to get the files, and that was in the setup that I attempted to do. Okay, stop here.